I would say focusing on what they can control versus what they can't control. Because I've seen so many people get caught up, honestly, sometimes even on just one post and the algorithm. And I would never, ever recommend doing that. One post in the algorithm doesn't matter ever. Um, trends matter over time, but a single post flopping is not going to kill your business ever. What I would say is definitely focus on what you can control and then detach from the outcomes and focus on putting your best foot forward. Focus on the strategies that you can improve. Focus on the things that you can do better, where you can improve. And then as for the outcome, just detach from it. See, I think creating content is quite hard for people to do because we're almost trained into this way of being withdrawn into ourselves and keeping ourselves private and not oversharing and not sharing too much. And you've got to unleash some of that. And you've, you've alluded to this already is you've got to unleash some of that inner you and let some of it out. Not all of it, because too much for people to handle a lot of the time, but a little bit of it and then let it loose in your content. But to your point, exactly. Do you know what? People worry about things like comments and likes and how much engagement the post has. I'm yeah. like, what does it matter? Because the people who are engaging with it, they're not your clients. Your ideal client won't engage with it because they don't want the people to, to realize that they need your services and to start spamming them to death because that's exactly what happens. If I mention YouTube on LinkedIn, I get 150 people in my inbox the next day saying, I can sort out your SEO for your YouTube channel if you want, or I don't care about the SEO on my YouTube channel. Yeah. So yeah, no, that's, that's fantastic advice. Leanne, it's been an interesting conversation with you. Is there anything else you want to any last thoughts that you want to leave the audience with? And also, if you can let people know how they can contact you if they're interested to find out a bit more. I do have a lot of coaches in my personal LinkedIn audience, so no doubt there'll be plenty with their eyes on this episode. How can they reach you if they're interested? Yeah, absolutely. Is there one last thing I want to say? I would say, and this sounds like straightforward advice, but I urge people to follow it. 